Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another ORSUU showdown live. Today we're going to be using the uh Today we're going to be using the uh <laughs> Lum DD men's team with Pursuit Crowbat. Shout out to my boy Teal. It doesn't like switching into much. I mean, it is offense, so I mean, what offense likes switching into anything? But it's a pretty fun team. Uh I think we're all like roughly 1600 now, if I'm not mistaken. This is the OU ladder, I think. Ladder UU Let's check. UU. Aim. Where is it? 1614. So we're number 82 on the ladder. We're climbing. Uh, we need about 100 points, less than 100 points to make it to top 10. Not sure if this team will push us there. Um, but, you know, we'll do our best, right? We'll do our best. I mean, it does have Lum DD Salamence. And uh, I, I, I really, 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 really love Lum DD Mence. I think it's so underrated uh, with. Iron Tail, Earthquake, and Outrage. Uh, this pretty much sweeps teams. Has that fairy coverage. We get some fat team. Or some sort of fat team. The random Blissey on it. He's very weak to Cobalion. Um, I'm very weak to Suicune and plus Blissey plus Salamence plus Snorlax. So this is going to be an interesting game. <laughs> to say the least. I lead off a Mammoth Swine because it can knock off something that's not Snorlax. As he leads off of that Snorlax. So uh, we can just Earthquake the 2 at KO him. I think I have to risk him paralyzing me. Like I don't. It's going to be a tough game regardless, so hopefully he doesn't. As he does not, nice. And uh, I'm actually going to attempt to go for Ice Shard right uh, Ice will Crash right here just in case he's one of those players like, oh, I can save this Mon. And I can go out into my Flying type on my Mammal Swine as Aerodactyl goes clean down. Nice, nice, nice. So 61%, uh, 60% off of that Snorlax and Aerodactyl gone, which means Sceptile isn't, is having fun this game as well. Um, Zapdos is going to come out. I'm going to go out into, uh, I don't think he has HP Grass, he could have HP Grass, definitely. But I'm going to attempt to go out into Swamp Art anyway because I want to get up my rocks. I think that was his rocker besides Blissey. As he goes right for Heat Wave, gets the burn, what the hell? <laughs> gets the burn as, uh, I need rocks up anyway, that way I can beat Suicune as well as the majority of his team. As he is going to go out to Snorlax, and uh, I guess he's going to rest right here, I don't know. But regardless, going out to Cobalion is the best play because Cobalion threatens him if he rests, so... Really wish he didn't get that burn right there, but it is what it is. It be what it be. I can't do anything about that. Um, what would he go here? I think he would have got into his... I think he would swap out into Zapdos, because Zapdos pretty much walls it. I mean, Arcanine is also a threat, so regardless, Mammoth Swine is a good switch as he decides to go out into his uh, Suicune, and I kind of want to knock this thing off, that way my Lum Mence can just win the game. Knocking off its item means that it'll go down to some outrages, so I'll definitely do that. As he is going to go right for the combine. I mean, he has to rest here because otherwise he's 2 at KO'd. So. Oh, he's 2 at KO'd regardless. Oh, man. And he decided not to attack. Oh, my God. No, wait. You're giving my mens the DD without giving him the DD. Ooh. Ooh. We'll take that. We definitely go right for Earthquake and knock him out. Get our Moxie. Ooh. Yum. Boost. And then we could Dragon Inside versus anything. Zapdos is going to come out. Ah, uh, we beat you. Unless he's Scarf. Are you Scarf? I don't think he's Scarf. We're risking it. Yeah, goodbye. And we get that next Moxie boost. But he gets the static on us. But we do have a Lumberry. But I wanted that for burn. So a little bit annoying. But it is what it is. We're plus two outrage now though. And that guy just swarped. And Salamence. Oh my god. Then I just ski, 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 ski. My boy Salamence coming through. Straight up gave him the... Oof. oof. Like Dennis the Menace. Hey. <laughs> Salamence definitely coming through that game, so we're gonna look for another one. Obviously, it's already looking on the uh, screen. Let's see what's going on the UU ladder, though. Call me Blunder. Watching another game while we're waiting for games. Ace Toast, what you using, bro? Oh man, you got an Amber Palm. Not a fan of Amber Palm too much. Not in UU. I think in RU it's pretty cool. If it is RU, is it RU? I'm pretty sure it's RU. I want it to be Yu Yu, but this guy uh, has a Porygon. Porygon is definitely a threat because we don't switch in too well. Um, I could definitely see me winning with Salamence this game as well. 100%. I want to lead off with Swampert because it beats Entei as well as Gligar as a lead. Beats the majority of his team bar Porygon. Um, actually, knowing that, I think Cobalion is the best lead. Just because Porygon forces me to switch if he leads off with that. So he leads Blastoise. Not something I wanted to see. Skull could definitely be coming right now. Don't have good switching, so I'm gonna go up to Sceptile. 
Uh, SD can potentially win anyway, but he goes right for Aura Sphere. I kind of want to get off the Mega right now. Not that it matters per se, but I'm going to get off the Mega anyway as Blissey's going to come out. Why'd that heal me all the way back almost? Okay, definitely not. But And uh, Mammoth Swan has zero switch-ins. I just want to keep that in mind. Um, but it's probably going to get up Rocks or Double, actually. So he does Double out to Blastoise, which I don't mind too much. I mean... I can Scald burn this potentially as he's going to go for Ice Beam. So even if he freezes me, which he did actually, wow. Scald is going to melt the ice. Let's get a Revenge Hacks right now. Yep. Hey, that's damage, bro. That's damage. And we can just get up our rocks if he wants to try and um, spin them away. That's completely fine. Um, obviously, I'm losing my Entei switching, but I do have Salamence to check it. So not too, too worried. He is going to go for next Scald and knock us out. However, however... Uh, actually, I don't know if Mammal Swine knocks it out with Earthquake. We are adamant, so I'm assuming you knock it out with Earthquake. I'm going to assume you knock it out with Earthquake, but Sceptile is just the best play overall. Yeah, no point in risking him, definitely. I, I even get a lot of health back from hitting it, so he even stays in, which is great. We're able to knock him out, and then uh, we don't know if the rocks are here to stay, but Entei is going to come out, however, and at this point, I don't really need Sceptile, so I'm just going to go right for Dragon Pulse. Uh, the reason I say I don't really need Sceptile is because, oh, that didn't even knock us out, but... Of course, he burnt. Um, the reason I say I don't even need Sceptile is because I want to put him in range of rocks, but what I can do now is go out into uh, my Crobat, and I actually want a Pursuit just to put him in range of rocks. I assume he's going to switch out as he does. Goes out to Gligar. Um, Gligar cannot touch Mamoswine, so Mamoswine is great. Switch right now as he is going to go for U-turn. Doesn't even defog. I don't know if his Gligar actually had defog because he had Blastoise to Rapid Spin. So Entei goes down, and that was the only priority on his team. Porygon, however, is going to come out, and at this point, I think that while Crobat is useful because it does have the Brave, actually, Crobat's very useful. Mamoswine looks expendable, but Mamoswine beats a lot of his team, so it's hard to say. We'll just uh, risk the Kabalion right here on the try attack anyway, as he definitely expects just based on that damage. Um... No point in not going for close combat regardless of him having Gligar because we don't want to risk that coming in as he is going to make the sack anyway. So let's say I would have doubled into my, um, into anything right there. I, it would have been in my position, in my favor not to. So we're just going to go for Iron Head because if he wants to go for the Earthquake, that's fine as we flinch him. So I kind of expect him to go for Earthquake right here. I kind of want to DD up at the same time. I think Mamoswine is the play on his rocks. Nice. And now we get a kill with Icicle Crash. Blissey is not a counter. <laughs> Uh, okay, never mind. It is, friends. It definitely is. But we can hit him with two adamant earthquakes, and that will be able to knock it out. As he does go for softball. Would it really would have been nice to hit him before, uh, because now he's going to be able to get off uh, a last ditch effort. Well, it, I guess nothing. He doesn't try to go for seismic toss. So we're able to knock out Blissey, which is really cool. And Gligar is low, as well. So I think because he's U-turn, I assuming earthquake stealth rock, we're in a good position. Um. I know that's specs based on the damage, but I just want to calc really quickly just to make sure that that's specs because I don't want to risk him being agility and then they lose the game. So we're offensive swords dance, Porygon, choice specs, try attack does 59. How much did you do? Is that scarf try attack? 53. So he could be agility. We're going for earthquake right here. We can't risk him being agility. I'm not sure actually. Well, we have to go Crobat. And Skyplate Brave Bird is the only play. Um, as okay, he was Specs. Okay, so what the hell was that roll? I guess he's Timid Specs? Timid Specs with a really low roll. I don't know, that made no sense to me. But regardless, I can just go for the Defog right here. He shouldn't be able to touch my... Um, he shouldn't be able to touch my Salamence, so I can just go out to that. Start Dragon Dancing up. And winning the game, yep. Because Hoopa is going to easily go down. Hoopa, <laughs> you're not living this, friend. Uh, as we even get the Moxie on top of that, we do get the attack boost. And I can just Dragon Dance up indefinitely, even when we hit ourselves in confusion. Like, all we can do is U-turn. Or Roost to try and stall me out. But he does choose just to go for U-turn, just to go for the easier route. And Salamence putting in work yet again. Like a broom, Salamence is sweeping the ladder. So... Let us look for another game. My boy Mentz. DD Lum Mentz putting in work. We got another game. Um, I played him earlier. 
very, very weak to Salamence, uh, but now he knows I have Pursuit, so it's a different story. I want to lead off with my, uh, have fun, again. I want to lead off with my Sceptile because he leads off with Swampert usually, and uh, I'm going to attempt to hard switch into my Crobat to try and catch the Shedinja as he goes Umbreon, unfortunately. What we can do, though, is go out into our Swampert as he goes back onto his own, and uh, I want to attempt to get up my rocks right here as he does get up his, so that's cool, because now what I can do is just go right for the um, Earthquake and pretty much not allow Tentacruel to come in. So I'll let him weaken me. Well, now at this point, I don't want to, so... <sighs> I'm not sure, because I want to go Mamoswine, because going Mamoswine right here, predicting Tentacruel would be a boss play. But if he stays in, obviously it's in a bad position. Or puts me in a bad position. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Because he won't be able to spin. And if I get a burn on Tentacruel, that'd be fine anyway. We do get the burn, so that's nice. And I can just spam rocks as much as possible. As he is going to go Umbreon. Uh, again, it doesn't matter if Umbreon comes out. Because I go Cobalion after. I think win. Doesn't Cobalion just win? Because Swampert is so low. We'll just Scald Burn this guy. Uh, repeatedly. Or go for Scald Burns. As Espeon is going to come out. Um, I mean, if we get a burn on this, that'd be great as well. I mean, we are in Torrent as well. I know he's Calm Mind. That's something to know. Or to note or whatever. But we will be able to get off some damage with this. And we even get the burn on top of that. As uh, at this point, he can't pass to anything. I guess he's just going to go right for Psy Shock and knock us out. Hmm. Okay, I know for a fact... I'm pretty sure this just wins. So we're going to go right for Brave Bird. It's my only mana hit him, but as he's able to knock us out. Holy crap, man. Holy crap. But don't we just go into our Mammoth Swine at this point and pretty much kill everything? And if we don't kill, we weaken everything, I'm pretty sure. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, at this point, Salamence wins the game. So we'll go for Earthquake just to weaken this to the point of Outrage, Kiro. Bye. What we can do is go right for Outrage. That's the only play. Because um, after Moxie, I'm pretty sure Umbreon goes down. He goes right out to Salamence, so we'll be able to knock that thing out and still get our regular boost as well. Goodbye. And uh, we'll still be able to knock out everything. Yep. And if Umbreon comes out, we SD up and we win the game. Yes. So, which he does come out, obviously. But we do have the Lum, of course. He's able to get up that Wish. Do we DD up here is the issue, is the question. I want to. I'm, I'm, I'm going to attempt. Yep. Okay, good. So I'm glad that worked out for me because now I can go for foul play. Instead of wishing. That is able to knock us out. Okay, Leaf Storm. Shh. No, it does, definitely doesn't knock out Tentacruel. So our only play is going for SD right here. And I think we have to flinch Tentacruel. Otherwise, we lose to Shedinja. I hate that I have to go for this, but I think we have to flitch Tentacruel, otherwise I lose. So, come on. Cobalion! As he's able to rapid spin away, and now we just lose to Shedinja because we cannot touch that. Good game. So, unfortunately, you couldn't do anything. Um, I'm not sure how I could have set that up differently. Maybe I could have... I, I probably could have risked Dragon Dancing up on the Swamper, but I didn't run him to be Ice Punch as well. I mean, I did get off... I didn't have an Intimidate. Um, but maybe that was something I could have done. We'll see though. We'll go for another game, obviously. I don't know what I could have done though. Maybe Dragon Dancing up on that Swamper turn. That probably would have been the play right there. But it's okay. We learned from it. We definitely learned from it. Uh, the, the max defense Espeon definitely living that Sky Plate Brave Bird was like, whoa. Okay. But yeah, I guess Dragon Dancing up on him would have been nice because then we would have been a neutral when Salamence came in and got off the Intimidate. Gotten the plus one, that way we can knock out Umbreon and uh, yeah, it definitely would have helped. That's okay though. You live and learn. And then Lumberry would activate. Yeah, I think that would have just been the 100% game. And then Rocks would have obviously smacked Shedinja. But it's okay though. Anyway, uh, I still love that Salamence is putting in work in every single game. So Salamence definitely got itself the thumbnail uh, no matter no matter what happens. Let me actually start opening this up right now while we're, while we're waiting. Nice road you you. Nice Adobe Photoshop. About to Google some nice Salamence things as well. Salamence. Give me images. Give me a nice Salamence. 
Okay, the Salamence looking pretty nice. Standard dot Salamence. This Salamence though, who made it? All 412, shouts to you. This one is sick though. Oh, I love his art. I love this guy's art. Looks so angry too. All right, so that's definitely the Salamence we're picking for this one. And we got a game, so let's go. Very weak to DD, um, DD Salamence again. Oof. This is part six of the road to you? I didn't even know that. Shout out to the thumbnail. Giving me knowledge. Knowledge. But we're going to leave off a perk because I cannot get our rugs. Good lord. Leaves off with the biggest threat to my entire team. Um, while I don't want to sack this because it deals with Kobali, I think with rocks up and the fact that he has waterfall. He doesn't even have... So he can flinch me right here. That's annoying. Thankfully he didn't. He doesn't even have grab, crab hammer. Oh. Hey. I did play this guy before. Have fun. Doesn't even have crab hammer though, that's interesting. But I can go out into my um, Sceptile now and no point in clicking Giga Drain, I'm just gonna go right for Dragon Pulse. Uh, expecting Snorlax to wanna come out anyway, but Dragon Pulse also catches Zapdos and Hydreigon if he decides to go out to that. It also should be able to knock out Crawdon, yep. So, uh, regardless, it was I think the all around safer play as Hydreigon is gonna come out. Probably gonna drop a Draco on me. Wow, my switching does not exist. Okay. Crobat's pretty expendable though, though it does have Pursuit. Oh man, so I guess he predicted that. Good play. Uh, we're gonna go out to Mammoth Swine. I'm glad I realized I had Pursuit though, right off the bat. And I, I, this is so obvious, I'm just gonna go for Earthquake. Like, you should know Ice Wind Crash knocks you out and you need this to not lose to Cobalion. So we're gonna go for Earthquake here. Uh, assuming he should know this, as that did not work out and he decided to get off a Heat Wave, a nice, whatever, we're just gonna go right for Ice Wind Crash. He should know that Cobalion sweeps him if you let me get a boost, which I do versus Snorlax. So I don't know why he would sack his Zathos right there. Even if, let's say, Snorlax came out and got weakened, it's not like Snorlax was beating anything. So I don't know how I feel about that, but... As Kobalion comes out now, I mean, that's annoying to say the least, but... I think we can hard switch directly into Sceptile. We should be able to live one attack. As he's gonna get up rocks, okay. And we can just uh, Focus Blast. Knock to Kobalion. Uh, depending on his Snorlax, it will do a lot. As thankfully we do connect, nice. So Kobalion goes down. Great, great, great. No speed ties, wrist right there with my own Kobalion. Is he Scarf Hydreigon? Like, why didn't? Are you Scarf Hydreigon, bro? Like, he goes up to Beedrill. We're gonna go directly into Crobat because we do have Pursuit. If he Mega Evolves right off the bat, this man's a lord. I mean, that's a fine play, I guess. But a Mega Evolves and U turns right off the bat. I mean, again, it's a fine play because you could tank the hit anyway. Um, so Zapdos is gonna come out. He's going to go for Heat Wave right here. I'm going to Roost. Because I could tank a hit. As he crits me with Heat Wave. Very, very <laughs> annoying. Because uh, I would have taken only 30%. And now I have to Roost again. Uh, the reason I'm Roosting is because I, he knows I have to go Mammoth Swine right here. So That is definitely not doing damage. Once I Dragon ends up, I'm good. He definitely doesn't have HP Ice as well. Which is why he's going for that Heat Wave. Um, we're going to go Sceptile regardless on the Heat Wave. As he goes for Volt Switch. Oh, that is sick. Okay, I'm inside. Catch this plus one Volt Switch. I, what? What? <laughs> Catch this plus one Dragon Pulse. Goodbye, Hydreigon. Bye bye, friend. Bye bye. Straight up bye. Uh, Beedrill's gonna come out, and you know what? We're risking this, bro. We're winning speed ties out here. We're winning speed ties out here. Sceptile putting in work. Snorlax is gonna come out. I can safely go for Dragon Pulse. No point in risking. No point in risking Focus Blast right there as he goes right for Body Slam. Can't knock me out anyway. And again, Dragon Pulse is just a safer play all around. I even get a crit right there as he's able to knock us out with the second one. However, however, you know who comes out now? My boy Salamence. Like a broom, Salamence sweeps. Come. Plus one, Moxie. Yum, yum, yum. Hey, Salamence still putting in work. Late game. Every single game. Day one. We probably know he doesn't have HP Ice because he didn't attack me earlier with it, but... He goes for Roost, and um, I can't lose this unless I miss Ice Crash, Ice Crash, right? Yeah, our Rage is always the best play. Because he can't... He, he can Roost on me if I get a two-turn, I guess, but I also have the chance to knock him out. So I did get the two-turn, unfortunately. Let's see. I still win this game unless Mamoswine misses Icicle Crash. So, we're risking it. 
Because he's still roosting. Why are you not attacking me? This is the point where you should be attacking me. It's getting too close, bro. For comfort. Whatever. I snapped out now. So, ah, we coming through. And we getting... What are these rolls before? How are you going to snap out and confuse yourself right off the bat? What was that roll, though? Breakthrough! As Mamoswine can now come out. We know he's faster. All we have to do is hit Icicle Crash. It's probably not going to happen, though. But we do land it. As he's going to roost. What? No. No, you had to Heat Wave there. Because I think he actually had a chance to live. Skyplate Brave Bird. Probably, actually. Yeah. So, we thankfully land the second one. I don't like how he played the Zapdos endgame, dude. But, good game, dude. I, I really don't like how he played the endgame uh, Zapdos right there. I think he should have been attacking... Especially like risking certain things, but let us keep going. Salamence though putting in work. I also could have dragged this up, I guess, but he did have Volt Switch, so I guess that meant he didn't have Thunderbolt. But at the same time, I was thinking if he didn't have HP Ice, what was his last move? It was Roost, Volt Switch, Heat Wave, and then Hidden Power Grass. But he would have went for Hidden Power Grass versus Mammal Swine. Or Toxic, he, again, he would have went for that versus Mammal Swine. Um, uh, but. Even then, I, I I don't know. I don't know if I would have done that. Regardless, we got another game. And uh, very, 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 very scary team. Holy crap, calm down. What is this? Leading off with Swampert because we get up our rocks. It leads off with Mian Shot. I do have Crobat to switch out to after. As he is going to go right for high jump kick. That's fine. We do go Crobat here. Or we could Skull predicting the uh, Zapdos. But no, we definitely go Crobat here. Nope, I guess he goes directly into Zapdos. That's fine. Uh, we go right back out into Swampert. So we definitely go right back out into Swampert on the Defog. I don't know if he has HP Grass. He could have it because he does have Arcanine, but regardless, rocks are going up. <laughs> As this is another guy who likes to Heat Wave Swampert to wear it down. I don't know why, because now I just get to go for Scald. Uh, his Mega is Swampert if he does indeed have a Mega. But again, he's putting me in Torrent range soon. And I beat him 1v1, and I get to burn Zapdos, which is one of the few things on his team. Well, actually, he has like four things, stopping Cobalion. But I get the potential to burn Zapdos as well, and I get up my rock, so... I don't know why he would do that. Like, I'm getting back up to full. He waved me now into Torrent. But at least we're able to hit the Gardevoir upon switching. We don't get anything though. I don't have a fairy resist. Actually, I do. I don't have a psychic resist, is more so what I should say. I have an earthquake. He's definitely going for psychic. Yeah, he goes for the psy shock. That is not going to be able to knock us out. As um, this is a solid. Ooh, this is a nice 2 KO. Why would I not go for the double earthquake? This Moonblast is able to knock us out. However, you know who gets to come out now? My friend Moxie. <laughs> My friend Moxie, yes. Earthquake will be able to knock him out. Uh, he goes out to Zapdos. To defog, I'm assuming. Your boy's dragon dancing up. I'm, I'm going for game. I'm tired of this. Because if I weaken this, then my uh, then my Sceptile wins anyway. So we're going for game right now. Yes. Plus one on the switch. With that dragon dance. Like Salamance. Goodbye. So we'll definitely sack this. That way he can go for the Moonblast and knock us out. And then I can go out into um, Sceptile later. So. Or... Later, as in right now. <laughs> so we're just going to Mega Evolve, go right for Giga Drain. Um, Swamper goes down. They pour us to a KO'd. Mianchas to a KO'd. If he wants to go to Arcanine, that's fine. It is Intimidate Arcanine as well. Do we see leftovers on it? We do not. I think Cobalion is a sack right here to the Flare Blitz. Ah, uh, take all that damage, boy. Giga Drain to 20%, so I'm assuming Dragon Balls does knock him out. Yeah, I'm not going to assume crap. Forget that. Uh, Arcanine. Oh, you, you offensive. I, I'm pretty positive it dies just based on standard math, but... <sighs> who cares about standard math? Yeah, Dragon Pulse does definitely kills. In fact, if he's banded, which I think he is, he's definitely just going to sack Gardevoir right here and then come back in to click extreme speed. So he does sack Gardevoir. But again, I just get to go for Dragon Pulse. We already know he's not faster because he changed the moves. Gardevoir goes down. Nice, nice, nice. And, uh... Gotcha. Mianxiao is going to come out, however. 
this point, I kind of just want to sack my my Mammal Swine to the U-turn. Um, I knew he was going for U-turn anyway, but I mean, regardless, Mammal Swine was the play of choice to make right there. Swampert is going to come out. And we could just go for Earthquake. Weaken this thing to where Dragon Pulse takes him out. Uh, he even stays in, so that's great. So we get to, to a KO him. Uh, we are faster even after Mega Evolution, unless he is Jolly, which he is not. So he would knock out Swampert. That means he has less sacks and... Uh, I guess Arcanine's coming out. No, he decides to go out to Mien Shao, so we will be able to hit that thing with the Ice Shard. As we can now go out to Sceptile since he locked himself into the uh, knockoff. And uh, we can just go for the Giga Drain right here. Uh, get back all the health that knockoff is going to do. I'm assuming he's Scarf. It also took it as Vaporeon. Uh, as he is Scarf, so he's able to, of course, outspeed us, but we do not go down to Bandit Extreme Speed at this range, and Sceptile just wins the game. So Arcanine is going to come out. We'll be able to Dragon Pulse this thing. Again, we don't go down to Bandit Extreme Speed unless he crit, which thankfully I didn't say that because everybody seems to crit me when I say unless he crits. And uh, obviously Sceptile won the game. I guess his Vaporeon didn't even have Ice Beam. I was going to risk Leaf Storm, to be honest. But Sceptile putting in work right there. Not bad, not bad. Let's look for another game. Doing good on time. 26 minutes. This will probably be the final game. Hopefully Salamence puts in work again. I love how Salamence is either sweeping or putting in work so something else can do something. Like Sceptile and Salamence, the dual Dragon Core. Well, Mega Sceptile, obviously. Mega Sceptile, obviously. Um, I'll let you know. Back to the city, which is an hour drive. All right, TV was just telling me about uh, Volcanion, what we can be doing, and um, if he wants to come back and record. Um, but yeah, uh, that's just something that's going on on the side. So, regardless, regardless, this last game is taking too long. Who's on the ladder, though? For real. Why is this last game taking 50 years? Where are we? We're number 40 on the ladder. Ooh. I guess if I wanted to, we can climb all the way up. But I think I want to do that with a different team. Um, there's a few Megas I want to use. There's a few different Megas I want to use. Um, I want to use Fabio, obviously. Someone suggested Flygon as well. Actually, they suggested both Fabio and Flygon. So that's definitely something I want to use. Can I save this? Save Image as. Oh no. Joao. Let's save this. Yeah, we're using that. I love that image. That image is really sick. Alright, so we got... Is this like some sort of Bayonet stall? What is this? He's not weak to Salamence. No! <laughs> no, but Mamoswine gets a kill as a lead, so we're leading off with it as he leads off with Alakazam. The one counter to my entire team. Um, I really, really just want to risk him going for Focus Blast, so I'm going to go out to Crobat. Yep. And what we can do is go right for Pursuit. Um, I don't think he U-turn. I think he'd hard switch, to be honest. So we're able to knock him out. He was apparently life worth, so nice. Crobat getting rid of Alakazam early on in the game. Huge threat. His only offensive presence on his team. Uh, besides that, I'm thinking it's defensive Arcanine. Yeah, definitely. Just looking at the fact that he brought it out. Not that I have a counter for this. Uh, Cobalion can sweep him. Um, need to get rid of Arcanine, though. We're going to just go out to Pert just to get up rocks and force in his... Uh, enforces in his in his Napoleon, excuse me. I knew for a fact that he was will o -Wisp just because he's defensive. Defensive runs Morning Sun, Roar, Flamethrower, uh, will o -Wisp. Sometimes extreme speed over Roar. It really depends on, I guess, the person, uh, to be honest. But I definitely like Roar on Arcanine. I know Mfuga likes extreme speed, I'm pretty sure. I think Mfuga even likes Flare Blitz on defensive Arcanine. Because, you know, who cares about, <laughs> who cares about keeping your HP when you're 25%? When you switch into rocks, right? Who cares about that, right, Ofuga? Shout out to Ofuga. But we're able to get up our rocks as um, Florgus ends up coming out. Not sure what variant of Florgus this is. It could definitely be Calm Mind. That's an option. Hmm. I'm trying to decide what I want to do to this. Oh, you guys probably couldn't see my files because you can only see this page. I'm just thinking about that. How do I want to switch into this? Oh, wait. I have a counter. <laughs> Unless he's psychic. So, Crobat definitely takes it on to an extent, as, uh, I feel like he's just going to protect, but I'm just going to Brave Bird regardless of what he wants to do. I think, actually, I would think that Empoleon would come out now, so I'm actually going to double out into 
Mammoth Swine. Regardless, the two attacks, uh, the two things I expect them to do is protect or go for not the Moon Blast because, you know, double Moon Blast doesn't make too much sense considering I'm poisoned and you see no item and I went for pursuit, so you could have thought I was choice locked. I guess that was too much credit given right there as uh, we're able to bring down low enough to the point where my um, my Salamence could come in or just this, I think. I think this is the better play because I can go right for the uh, Iron Head as he protects right here. I don't know why he didn't protect before. Like, I don't know why he chose to do that this turn. But he does have Rocky Helen on Arcanine, which actually isn't bad because Leftovers is a little bit more annoying for me to deal with as he goes right for Morning Sun. And what I can do is just fire off Scalds. Uh, Scald with the Stealth Rock up should be able to 2 a KO Florigus, especially if I get like a potential burn on him or something. Um, as he actually decides to go Florigus over Empoleon for some reason. I would have thought he would have went Empoleon, but apparently it's not a 2 a KO. Okay. Regardless, we're just going to get the burn. He does go for Protect, so we don't get a burn. No. It's annoying. But I mean, it's okay. I mean, I, again, Salamence is going to be putting in some work, or at least making way for he even puts me in torrent which is great because now he cannot protect if i do get the, what the hell where's my torrent my damp why did i do 14 oh you got the special attack drop duh and skull doesn't like burning unfort unfort indeed he can't switch into this though because i get up rocks if he goes empoleon after anyway in defogs now this became a little bit more annoying we're just gonna sd up with our cabalion now as he decides to go for the um, protect right there. I kind of want to double SD because I win the game. If I double SD and he switches out to Arcanine. So, yeah. I'm <laughs> we're just going for game because this is uh, plus three. It should be able to knock out Arcanine. I mean, Arcanine is really bulky. This thing lives banded Teraki on Stone Edge. But not bulky enough, it seems, as we're able to knock him out. Bayonet doesn't get the Prankster or the Priority, whatever, Will-O-Wisp until after Mega Vol. So, unless he has Protect, we're good. And this Mon just wins the game. So, I don't know. I don't like how he played at certain points. I, I definitely don't agree with certain plays, but I mean, a win's a win. I'll take my win. <laughs> so, assuming we win, of course, anything can happen in Pokemon. I've been crit last turn 400 times. This could be Chapel, but I don't think Chapel is plus three. Uh, close combat, even if it was Chapel. So, able to knock that thing out. Bayonet is going to come out. Um, Shadow Sneak should not be able to knock me out, even if he has that, even after the drops. Yep. So, we're able to knock that thing out with the Iron Head. And then Florgus and Porygon go down. Unless he wants to swap between and stall me out of all my close combats. But this is plus three, so even a resisted hit will do a lot. So we'll be able to knock this thing out with the Iron Head. You're not going to stall me out, bro. I have 20 more. You can't even swap to Porygon <laughs> because of Stealth Rock. So Florgus is going to uh, go down. And SD Cobalion putting in the finest of work in the final game and that is going to be it so thank you everybody for watching i hope you guys all enjoyed feel free to leave a like subscribe do your thing uh if you're watching this it should be around four something so you can go ahead i just cracked my knuckle on my face what the hell uh you can go ahead and check out etika i think we're going to be streaming with him i'll be at his house later today so i'll see you guys later and uh we're 1659 we're climbing we're climbing we're definitely climbing almost there almost to the top Number 38, but if you guys all enjoy, feel free to subscribe, blah, 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 and yeah, cue the outro.